Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to play Phoenix, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to become the best duelist you can become. So I'm going to show you Bind because I think he's really strong in this map. You can use the portals with the ultimate and that gives you a lot of room to work with. You can do a lot of aggressive plays as well. The angles kind of favor him a lot. Phoenix is a champion that you can actually play it everywhere, okay? There's a lot of things you can do. Usually when you play ranked, um, you can play with the Killjoy or Cypher and B. One of the setups that you can do, the camera or the or the Killjoy turret will be watching this angle, this angle, to see if the enemy team is pushing. You're here with your flashbang ready. Your teammate spots the enemy team. You flash them and you pick them and you kill all the lot of the people pushing. Someone spots it. You're ready. You flash. You peek and you kill as many as you can. Watch out because they is usually get full blinded and they try to spam the corner because they have no escape anymore so they commit to spraying full blind so you need to make sure that you dodge the bullets or that you hit him really fast otherwise you might die it's the same thing for short you can have a camera that is watching short and when you see someone you flash in your peak you can come short close and flash or push, you get the first kill and then you go back and you flash and then you can wall again, you can fall back, you can molly, you can ult and go through. The champion is really aggressive, really really good in this map. You can throw this to open the door and then you TP to, and you see through already if you have the good timing. If you're attacking, you can use the walls to actually block something to be able to create a path for your team and for you. So, for example, if I don't want to get killed from a wall or wrong, you can uh, wall like this and you can jump over. You can see a little bit as well. Hello there. If you jump over and you clear side, it's a good thing because you can actually see under it. It goes over, so you can actually maybe flash like this and pick the guy inside. You pick. You could molly this before you go in and you wait and then... You wall, and then you flash like this, you peep over. It's an agent that you really have to hit your shots because you're going in really aggressively and uh, you create space for your team, so you need to be really sharp with your aim. Your aim is really important, really, really important with any duelist, but especially with this one because you don't have kids to escape like Jet or Reyna when they get a kill. He's really committed, and the only way he can get away if, if, is if you have ult. So, I suggest you to fight for the orbs in every map. You need 6 kills or 6 orbs to be able to ult. It's one of the champions that have 6 instead of 7. So, getting the orbs actually will help you to keep being relevant in the game and help your teammates to get ground and do aggressive plays, even defending. So, I would fight for the orbs and try to get them as much as possible and keep using the fast paced game um, don't play passive because you really need to be moving and uh, creating space uh, being a threat to the enemy team even if you're defending i'm gonna repeat that a lot because people that play phoenix sometimes are think that when they're defending they don't have to do as much but i really feel like with phoenix you need to really uh, face your opponents all the time if you hear someone you flash and pick them you you maybe molly right side and you push mid or get close you can also wall one of the sides and and just go full yellow you go like this you watch it again now you're flashing the good thing about the flash and the wall is that you can actually flash to them. Hey, you! You're finally awake! The wall doesn't blind you if you're in the other side. So you can time it really well and go through. You can also curve the wall. So you can go through you and create a path. For example, if I want to push side but I don't want to die from Kevin, but I still want to see bathroom, I would do like this. I can create a path to see... Arriba. You don't die, but you can actually cross and kill someone. To become a really good Phoenix player, you need to have big balls, you know? To don't give a fuck. To, to be able to push when you need to and uh, don't be scared. Because if you're scared, you become a really bad Phoenix player. Because Phoenix goes in first all the time. So... Make sure that you're capable, make sure that you trust yourself, make sure that your aim is sharp. And to do that, I usually go to aimlab. 
and I play Spider Shot because you need to flick people in the head and kill them as fast as possible as you're going in and you have to check a lot of corners. Play this task. You go to training, you go to tasks, and you go to Spider Shot. As you can see, um, you have to aim really fast to be able to kill the targets that are popping and then you have to reset your aim and go to the middle again. So you're aiming your flick shots. Um, I'm gonna explain it to you while I'm doing it. So basically you shoot the one in the middle and then you have to aim at the one outside. You shoot the one in the middle, one outside and like this until you start becoming really fast. So you need to try to, to become really fast for example, the people that have high sense usually do better in this one. For example, Patrick, Paddy Tech in our team is really good. And he does uh, 140k uh, points. So maybe you can beat him here. He's the best in our team doing this challenge. And um, yeah, it's not an um, easy champion to master. I think uh, to be able to play it well, you need to be really skilled. And for that, you need to play in lab. And I wish you the best. Good luck in the server, my friends, and um, see you next time.